Yo, what's up, Tube? It's your boy B, Main. And if you're watching this video, there's probably two reasons. One, you're probably just curious to see what I'm saying. Like, oh, Main made another video. Let's click on and see what he talked about. He probably don't know what he's talking about. Or two, you're wondering how can I sp speed up my Roblox? I've been lagging. It's been moving slow. I'm trying to move faster and go in on my games. Have some fun with my games. And I think I, I think I can help you. I think I can help you. So without further ado, let's just get straight into this video. All right, guys. So there's three major things that affect your speed with Roblox and almost any game in general that you're gonna play or any application that, for that matter. So you have the actual application settings. We're gonna go around and tinker with the application settings in Roblox Studio. We have the computer settings. You know, you wanna you wanna cancel some things on your computer to make it run a little bit faster on the computer end. And then lastly, you have your network settings. And speaks enough, you gotta have some good internet to play internet games. All right, so let's first get into the Roblox settings. So first you wanna come down, you wanna go into Roblox Studio, okay? All right, after you've done that, you wanna click on File. You wanna go down to Settings, all right? And from there, you wanna go to Rendering. I believe it's Rendering, yes, there we go. And you wanna go to Edit Quality Le edit quality level and set that bad boy to level 01 you know same thing that you're gonna do the same thing with quality level as well so you want to click it put it on level 01 but if you know you got that bad boy computer you can just smack that boy down all the way down to 21 and leave it all the way up i like to leave mine's all automatic my computer has its days depending on what i'm running if i've been running you know all my other programs all day stomach so computer a little be a little, a little a little slow moving a little like i got some molasses in it so i like to leave it on automatic just in case the just in case my computer want to move a little slow that day. But go ahead and set the mugs to level 1 and you're good in Roblox Studio. I don't care about Roblox. I'm getting out of this. Alright. The second thing you want to do. And I'm going to put a video on the screen right now. Because I don't have it right now on me. I, mean, I don't want to load up a game right now. But you want to go into the game. Whatever game it is. It can be Meep City. It can be Rose Sidious. Rose Citizen. It can be Theme Park Tycoon. It can be Gaiden. It can be... What else is on the Phantom Force? It can be any game that you may be playing. And you want to go into the settings. You want to click the escape buttons. You want to go down to the settings tab. And then you want to take that quality, the quality level. You want to drag that bad boy all the way down to level one. Usually it's probably either all the way up or in the middle. You want to have, like I said, you want to have that bad boy all the way down. So it's using less speed and it's loading and the rendering speed is slow. And it's going to make your computer run faster. All right. So now... We want to move on to your computer settings, all right? So two things you may want to download that's going to help you out. For, we're going to start with PC first. For PC, we have Razer Game Booster. And it's, it's going to do pretty much everything for you. It's going to it's going to kill some programs. It's going to render. It's going to give you some more memory. It's going to boost your memory. It's going to do all the things for you. So all you got to do is come in and download it, all right? Download that bad boy. And open it up so i guess i'll show you guys what it's like when it's open up i'll show you games deals game caster but you want to come over to boost and simply all you want to do is you can change the settings yourself if you're comfortable with that but leave this bad boy on recommended leave it on processes and you just want to simply click boost now let it do its thing and after a while it's going to say so much ram is free 100 percent boost and you're good to go exit this bad boy out and continue to your game so if you're on mac it's a little bit more tricky Mac is a little bit more tricky. There's a couple things you can do with Mac. You can either download Memory Clean 2, and this is going to help you out. Just boost a little memory here and there. It will allow you, it will clean up some memory. So say you've been running some different programs all day, and now you want a game. This will clean the memory up, and it, it gives you like a fresh feel. So you know like after you first start your computer, your computer feels so much faster. And after you start using it for a while, I feel like it's just getting slower, slower, and slower. Well, this will give you that revitalization to your computer. It will boost it up like you're getting a fresh restart without having to go to the process of restarting. So you can do that. Um, also, if you run a Mac, you also want to clean, clear out all of the programs. If you have open, open programs that you know you're not using, exit out of those. If you have a bunch of tabs in Google Chrome or Safari, whatever you may be using, exit out of those. Try to kill unnecessary processes. Um, I actually am running on a Mac, but I'm boot camping, boot camping it. So I'm running on Windows 7. And games just run better on Windows. That's that's pretty much a fact. It's not that Windows is better than Mac, 
but Windows are is more in tune and more um, what's the word I'm looking for more compatible with running games. That's the word I'm looking for. It's more compatible with games. So if you can boot camp boot camp it up, um, run Parallax or whatever program that you may want to run, and try to run Windows on your computer. I think that will help you out a lot. And yeah, that's about it from there. So now let's go into the internet part of it. To run a game, especially an internet game, you have to have decent speed. So let's go to www.speedtest.net and you should check out your internet speed. You want to go to begin test, blah, blah, blah. And I'll talk you back when it's done speeding, doing this thing. All right, guys, as you can see, you can see my download speed and my upload speeds are all in the 30. If you can speed in the low, in the low like between one to five on both, um, Odds are you need to, you know, either increase your internet. If you can't do that, you want to do a couple of things. You want to either try to move closer to your router or you want to, um, you want to go Ethernet cable. So that's, that's a, a wire cable. Wire in every situation is better than wireless. There's no situation where a wire connection will be slower than a wireless connection. Wire is just so much. If I were to plug my, I'm, I'm on a Wi-Fi right now. So if I were to plug my wire connection in, my speeds will go up into the several hundreds. Like I will begin anywhere between 400 to 900 speed. That's how much it will increase. Wire connection is life. Wire connection is base. So make sure you switch to wire connection. But if you can't do that either, try to get as close to your router as possible. Try to be, try to get less interference as possible. Try to get as close as possible and just see if that speed can get up. Anyway, guys, that's all I have for you guys. If you're still having issues on your Mac, there's a couple things I can do. There's a couple things you can run to terminal and you can um, run some code, but that's a little bit more advanced. I didn't want to make that for that video, but if you guys need, if you, if, a, if I find out people really need more help with Mac, I can make a little video or direct you to a video where it tells, shows you how to disable some things in your Mac settings, in your Mac terminal, and make it run a little bit faster. Hopefully you find, hopefully you found this video helpful, which I doubt. But if you did, make sure you leave that like button, subscribe for more content. Comment down in the comment section anything you want to talk about. If you, if it was helpful, if it was not helpful, if man you suck, man you awesome, man you great, whatever it may be. But until my next video, it's been your boy B Main, and I'm signing out. Peace.